stays on the tee long enough for Griffin and we're underway. And a fair catch made by Joe Taylor. And they start with Corm and here he goes. Across midfield. Showing those skills Todd just mentioned. An electrifying run to open the game of 39 yards. Well again this offensive line outstanding. Watch he's going to start this way and just as Todd McShay talked about his vision and his ability to cut back quickly stay low to the ground and right out of the gate he has his best run he's had in two weeks. J.J. McCarthy the quarterback running way downfield for a block at the end of that play. Here's Ronnie Bell down to the 21 yard line. Vaughn Martin. Made the tackle with help from Xavier Scott. It is a depleted Illinois secondary. Comes out firing, caught. Max Bredesen, the tight end, made the catch at the 18 yard line. He went out of bounds. Impressive opening drive. McCarthy dumps it off. Another first down. Colston Loveland. The true freshman, and we talked about a lot of players with the Michigan coaches yesterday. They didn't rave about anybody more than they did this guy. They love him. They think he gets better each week. He's physically ready to play right now as a true freshman. And nice job by McCarthy under duress, getting it to him quickly. More opportunities for Loveland with Luke Schoonmaker injured. He is dressed today, but limited. Corum. Showing some of that power at 5'8 and 210 pounds, running behind one of the best offensive lines in the country. He gets the call and gets stacked up at the one. Tariq Barnes leading the way for the Illinois defense, giving up only 12 and a half points per game. And the tight end, Bredesen, lined up as a fullback in front of Blake Corum. On third down and goal, Corum, touchdown Michigan. Nineteen total touchdowns now for Corum. There's movement just prior to the snap. False start. Offense number 78. Five yard penalty. Replay the try. Only 34 penalty yards per game. Fourth best in the country. Navy and Air Force in East Carolina. You expect the military academies yeah. to play discipline football. Jake Moody, the extra point. Very close with his mom and our deepest sympathy to the Bielema family. The kickoff by Moody will be a touchback. We spoke with Brett yesterday. Still very oh. emotional. Uh, in tears several times during our chat. They start with Chase Brown. And he's ahead for a yard. But mothers derive so much joy from watching their sons do what they love to do. Quick pass out to Casey Washington. He's ripped down by DJ Turner. Third down and two. The quarterback is Tommy DeVito, transfer from Syracuse. He's in trouble and throws it away. Robertson rolled out like he might run for a moment and then hits a line drive punt with that gusty wind at his back. And it's going to roll dead down at the three yard line. Really nice mixture of run pass on that opening drive. After a 64 yard punt, it's Corum. Just 19 years old. Corum again. Now to the seven yard line the 64 yard punt by the way the longest of Hugh Robertson's career. And he runs with the motion man Bell McNamara lots of running room for Corum Blake Corum down the far sideline and out of bounds across midfield. A drop snap by McCarthy and he falls on it. For a loss of two. He has been very impressive on a great football team. CJ Stokes, the true freshman, he's the backup running back today. 
And another big play. Xavier Scott, the true freshman. Javier Dunlap, the running back now after the play fake. McCarthy fires and it's incomplete. They want a flag on the Michigan sideline. Devon Weatherspoon, the Devon Weatherspoon, who was flagged twice for pass interference last week, had the coverage on Andrell Anthony. The perfect corner mentality. The left arm was around the shoulder. They might have been able to call that, but he got the deflection with the right hand. Matt Weiss, one of the coordinators from Michigan, said he thinks he's the best Big Ten cornerback they've played in the last two seasons. Blake Corum, the ball carrier. Corum on third and nine. They tried to surprise them with the run, and Johnny Newton dropped it for a loss. Brad Robbins to punt. Isaiah Williams back deep. This punt going into the wind and wow, hit a wall of wind and bounces back out of bounds at the 18 yard line. Illinois is going to try to find a way to get the ball to Isaiah Williams this possession. He is one of their most dynamic players. Chase Brown. But the good news for Michigan, that position edge is probably where they have the most depth on this defense. A quick screen to Isaiah Williams. This 66 catch of the year. They call it a no star defense, but it's been terrific collectively. A drop pass. Brian Hightower couldn't make the catch. There's Robertson after his career long punt. Another good one with the wind. Ronnie Bell broke a tackle, then goes down. At the 37 yard line. That's a 45 yard punt and a five yard return. Third possession for Michigan. They've moved it both times, scored a touchdown in their opening drive. And CJ Stokes went down at the 40, a gain of three. JJ McCarthy seemed to surprise <laughs> Ronnie sure Bell. Did. The ball caught him at the 46 yard line with Isaac Darkangelo there, their leading tackler. That is one of the concerns Michigan fans have. Blake Corum on third down and short. This is going to be close. We saw him run on third and a lot longer than this, the last possession, and that's not uncommon for Michigan. They've run on 47% of their third down plays this year. Sixth most in the FBS. Come up a little bit short here. The offense is going to stay on the field. One of the best centers in the country. Olu Oluwatimi. And Corum jams into the line. It looked like he got just enough. McCarthy after the play fake, and it's through the hands of. Roman Wilson at the 35 yard line. Devin Witherspoon had the coverage. Ball was slightly behind Wilson, but a catchable pass. And he had some separation from Witherspoon, just not able to make the play. Pretty strong throw into that gusty wind. McCarthy given all kinds of time, and that's too high for Max Bredesen. McCarthy on third down and long takes off running but will not get the first down. Now Robbins, three-year starting punter, his last home game, first punt into the win, went just 39 yards. And Olawa Timmy is new to the punt team. He's in there right now as a protector, but we might see something different. to possess the football. They want to make first downs. They're going to have to hit some throws, I think, on early downs. Run after the catch, and very close to a first down is Miles Scott. Looks like he has it at the 30, and it's the first first down of the game for the Illini. 
good call by first year offensive coordinator Barry Lunny Jr. there calling for the quick throw on first down. Couple three and outs. Left yourself with third down and long situations. Good first down call there. That's the end of the first quarter. in time of possession this year. Illinois is sixth. As they both like to run the ball a lot. Their defense is so good they get off the field quickly. Chase Brown. Brown again. And you see the patience right there. Again, he and Blake Corum are very similar in their patience. DeVito wide open receiver and it's dropped. Miles Scott. Wide open in Michigan territory, couldn't take it in. Well, DeVito did the right thing. Don't lead the receiver, throw it right at him if he's wide open. Wow. Scott just not able to bring it in. Scott just three catches all year, deeper down the depth chart. Chase Brown, down near the 47, third down and six. Tommy DeVito, the New Jersey native, fires. That one's caught. Uh, Isaiah Williams, former quarterback, collared at the 45, but he got the first down with a couple to spare. Talked to Brett Bielman. He said one of the things he liked about DeVito is his jersey attitude. Likes the <laughs> confidence with which Tommy plays. Out wide. Brian Hightower broke a tackle and turned it into a short gain. Really enjoyed his experience in Champaign. It'll be just one year. This is his last year of eligibility. Chase Brown inside the 40. Mason Graham made the tackle. Take to Brown. Dumped off to Isaiah Williams, and he's very close to the first down. Going to be about a yard short at the Michigan 36. I think this is definitely go for it situation here for Brett Bielema. Nice effort by Williams. Well defended, actually, by Michigan on the play action. I feel him wanting to snap the ball quickly. Chase Brown did not appear to get there. He is short, comfortably so. It's Mason Graham, a true freshman. Jim Harbaugh describes as a gift from the football gods. Who made the stop? They are well short, and they won't even have to measure. This will be the 307th straight crowd of 100,000 plus, dating back to 1975. The swing pass to Corum, dumped for a loss back at the 34-yard line by Keith Randolph, outstanding defensive lineman. Corum stumbled down as he went to make his cut. Corum, the ball carrier. We will chronicle it later. Javier Dunlap, the running back on third down. McCarthy has a wide open Wilson. There are flags down on the play. Back at the 35 yard line. Holding offense number 65. They're going to get Zach center the spot with the hole. Third down. It was very close. The problem for Zinter is he doesn't know his quarterback is going to roll out. Here he is, the right guard. He's blocking, expecting his quarterback in the pocket. He doesn't know he's rolling out, but he feels his defender leave. Good call. That was Newton, and he reached out and grabbed him. Well, good news for Illinois right now. Even though time of possession, Michigan has held the lead. There's too many guys on the field. Brett Bielema very upset. A lot of confusion on that substitution, but Illinois gets a stop here. I mean, the good news for them, they are right in the game. It's seven to nothing. It feels like Michigan has controlled the game, but it's only a one score lead. False start, offense number 55. Five yard penalty, third down. It's on the center, Olu Olu with Timmy. Some confusion as Illinois was substituting. 
outstanding center, one of the three finalists for the Remington Trophy last year when he was at Virginia. Corum. To the 33 yard line, Isaac Darkangelo made the tackle. <laughs> the healthy diets. Yeah. Speaking of which, uh, Taste of the Town is coming up next. Robbins punting with the win this time. The fair catch made by Isaiah Williams. He actually told me about it, took me there the first time. And so I was glad to be able to feature it on Taste of the Town. Another one. Mm -hmm. Right on target to Casey Washington. Eight for 11, DeVito, 70% completion percentage coming into today. Six in the country. Here's a reverse. Isaiah Williams dynamic with the ball in his hands. And Illinois is on the move again. Last time they moved deep into Michigan territory and got stopped on fourth down. Well, Williams was a former quarterback. He came here as a quarterback, switched to wide receiver. DeVito with a block. Also, Julian Pearl, number 54, the left tackle. More than midway through the second quarter now. Michigan scored on the opening drive, a 75-yard drive. Capped by a short touchdown by Blake Corum. Here's Chase Brown looking for some room. Showing his strength as he delivered a stiff arm to Rod Moore. And he has a first down. And his brother's an identical twin. <laughs> and uh, he looks much the same as well. They are ultra into nutrition and obviously into working out. Not taken in by families there when they were 16 years old. Remarkable young men. Stopped again. Brown by Mason Graham. That true freshman who's really uh, not a true freshman anymore. No, I mean, he plays with such great leverage and hand strength. Here he is, number 55, was a wrestling champion, was very well coached in high school, but just his physicality for a young guy, <laughs> making plays behind the line of scrimmage, becoming a regular thing for him. Third down and six, key play here for Illinois out of the gun, Tommy DeVito. Throws, and it is caught. Very nice catch, but short of the first down. Isaiah Williams tackled immediately by Mike Sain Ristil. A really nice tackle by Sain Ristil. Three tight ends in the ball game. They're all on this side of the formation for Illinois. There was movement. Oh, boy. Jordan Slaughter, number 66, a backup right guard, is the guy who was in there and left early. You can see the frustration on his face. Actually, it was two Ball guys. Start. Offense, They're number both. 66, five-yard penalty, fourth down. So then instead, it'll be a field goal try from Caleb Griffin, who's made his last six. As a team, they've made 13 in a row. But into that howling wind from 29 yards, Right down the middle for Griffin. Big Ten Football in 60 is presented by Rocket Mortgage. When you want an edge in the competitive market, Rocket can. Caleb Griffin into that wind. Should be returnable here, but signal for a fair catch. Joe Taylor. Hauled it in. Here's Kevin Nagandi. Here's Blake Corum. Turns the corner and gets taken out of bounds just shy of the first down by Quan Martin. It's a nine yard gain for Corum. One of the things that makes Ronnie Bell such a great player is not only his ability as a receiver. Watch this block right on the safety, Sidney Brown. That was the key block in the play. Corum up to 72 yards on 13 carries. 37 on the first play of the game. He is stopped for a loss. Johnny Newton made the tackle. They lost about a half yard on the play. Four to Jessica. Blake Corum gets the first down to the 36. 
Roll out by McCarthy and it's broken up by Witherspoon again showing his tremendous talent. He batted it away from Ronnie Bell. The second pass interference penalty he got last week was really a bad call. Here's Corum across midfield. They can't get him down and finally tackle from behind at the 39 yard line of Illinois. C.J. Hart ran him down. Watch the freshman tight end Loveland. The motion takes that corner out of the way. So there's nobody on the perimeter because of the motion by Ronnie Bell. And the tight end Loveland with a nice block. That was a nice play call getting the corner out of there with motion and then running right back to that edge. Five yard rush for Corum is second of 20 plus today. 15th of 20 or more this season leading the country. Beautiful throw. McCarthy on target to Ronnie Bell. Michigan on the move. They're at the Illinois 17 yard line. McCarthy incomplete trying to get it to Colston Loveland. There was some contact with Kendall Smith. Well, there was a little contact but the pressure early forced McCarthy to get rid of the football I think before he wanted to. What a freshman season he's having here emerging as a factor late. Blake Corum chopped down on the corner. Corum is still down after he was chopped down by Xavier Scott. Well, we already mentioned Donovan Edwards is not playing in the game today. He's the normal one two punch with Blake mm, Corum. Boy. Time out for injured offensive player. They're out to take a look at the left leg of Corum. Well, the concern right now is for the health of Corum, but also the question is, was this a fumble or was he down? It looked like the ball hit the ground. He was going to reach for his knee and let go of the football. Well, was the ball starting to come out before he hit the ground? And I believe it was recovered by Illinois before it rolled out of yeah, bounds. Johnny Newton right there. The Ball's ruling still on the in field bounds. He's on the in bounds. The previous play was that the runner was down. That play is under further review. By Ken Kester in the replay booth. Well, Sean, it's good to see Blake Corum walking off under his own power. He was in considerable pain when they were looking at his left knee. He was pointing to the back of his left knee. After review. The runner lost control of the ball before he was down. It was immediately recovered by the defense. It will be first down Illinois on the 13 yard line. Please reset the game clock to 138. 138. And they start on the ground with Chase Brown, who uh, is deemed to have been inbound. The clock keeps going. 125 to go. Michigan's outscored their opponents 117 to 3. Brown showing that patience again. Battle to the 19 yard line, and Harbaugh will use his second timeout. The only team they've played that's ranked is Penn State. Tommy DeVito short set, and a nice catch. Where will the mark be? It'll be a first down. What a play by Casey Washington. But you're in the game under a minute to go in the half. See if Chase Brown can bust one. We'll look to him in the pass game. Vito threw it the other direction to Casey Washington. They brought him in motion. Chase Brown. He almost busted one, and there's a flag down as well. He got wrestled down by Will Johnson, or that might have gone all the way. Johnson's a true freshman who's really come on as an important part of their secondary the last few weeks. Five star recruit from Detroit. Holding offense number 78. Ten yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Repeat second down. At this point now you just go to the locker room and you get the ball to start the third quarter you make your halftime adjustments and you're in a one score game right where you want to be 
if you're Brett Bielema. I think he'll have to be very pleased with the way this has gone, especially the way it started. Michigan right down the field on its opening drive. That is the end of the first half. Jake Moody, the kickoff into the wind. And a nice boot. Without Donovan Edwards, I don't know that Michigan can win this game without Blake Corn. They'd likely have to go to the true freshman, C.J. Stokes. Chase Brown, the ball carrier. The other star running back in this matchup. So two of the top three scoring defenses in the country. They're the top two in the country in total defense in yards allowed per game. There is Tip Ryman, the tight end. Something that the new coordinator, Barry Lunny Jr., brought with them from UTSA. And juggling catch, no catch. Isaiah Williams couldn't take it in. There's Hugh Robertson on the punt. Got a career-long 64-yarder in the first half. Trying to get that one up into the wind. He shanked it. Trying too hard to get it high into the air. It seemed to throw him off. It's a true freshman from Columbia, South Carolina. Highly recruited. And he's down after a gain of two right to midfield. They give it to him. And he powers his way to the 45 yard line. A five yard pickup. They think McCarthy, nice throw, right on target to Cornelius Johnson. He's down near the 30-yard line. Some confusion. C.J. Stokes bounced around and he got inside the 30. Sophomore from Texas. McCarthy, high throw through the hands of Colston Loveland, over the hands of the tight end. Timeout for a injured defensive player. C.J. Hart, timeout. one of their starting linebackers. Michigan number three in this week's rankings. J.J. McCarthy, man, breaking open, and it's over the head. And Andrell Anthony was spinning around trying to find the ball. The last two seasons, this from 46. He won the Lou Groves Award as the best kicker in America last year, and he's having another excellent season. In the case of Corn, he was commuting two hours a day to play high school football. Nice run back by Peyton Vining, and good field position for Illinois. Tommy DeVito out of the gun. Gave it to Chase Brown. How about that patience? Todd just mentioned it. Be, watch this play again and watch how he just waits. Michigan substituting late here. They did not get the man off the field. A couple of flags are down. And to the 49 yard line goes Chase Brown. Illegal substitution, 12 men on defense. Five yard penalty, repeat first down. To the fake to Brown. Here's Isaiah Williams for a first down. Brown burst through a hole. And it looked like there might be more. He got tripped up at the very end of the run. Played for the Miami Dolphins. Play fake. And the throw intended for Brian Hightower. He thought he was being held by Mike Sainer still. And there is no flag. They had a need in the secondary. He's filled it. And more problems on short yardage for Illinois. Did Chase Brown get just enough? It was R.J. Moten. Based on the yellow line, it looks like he has it. And it is a first down. Chase Brown had run for 100 or more in 10 straight games. That ended last week when he came up two yards short against Purdue. He stayed in the block and did it well. 
And the throw is caught. It is Michael Marques with another Illinois first down. They're on the move to the 16-yard line. Watch Chase Brown just stone him here. And then Tommy DeVito does a nice job stepping up, getting outside enough to open up a lane and hits the tight end. Hoping for a tying touchdown. DeVito back corner of the end zone and a little too long. Out of bounds over the head of Casey Washington with D.J. Turner in coverage. Second and ten. Chase Brown again the patience and the beautiful cut down to the eight yard line here comes another big third down. Chase Brown breaks free and scores touchdown Illinois. Caleb Griffin adds the extra point. Big Ten Football in 60 is presented by Rocket Mortgage. When you want an edge in the competitive market, Rocket can. They both value time of possession because it shortens the game and it limits the opportunities that the opponent has. Bouncing kick by Caleb Griffin results in a touchback. Here's Kevin Nagandi. Sean, I just get the sense as we look at C.J. Stokes at the first play Ooh. of this possession. And then he got blasted by Devin Witherspoon. Uh, he's a physical kid. It's a lot of pride in his physical approach to the game. Blake Corm is not going to be 100%, and J.J. McCarthy is going to have to be the difference in the ballgame for Michigan to win. Corm has one carry in this half after leaving the game late in the first half with the knee injuries on the sideline. Is it C.J. Stokes again? Going to touch down on their opening drive of the game. Just a field goal since. There's Stokes for a first down to the 39 yard line. Moonmaker, their leading receiver at tight end, dressed but hasn't been involved. Witherspoon again with a big play. Witherspoon's going to come on the blitz this time. One time before, the motion went and it took him out of there and they ran to the perimeter. This time, Ryan Walters countered. You can see why. There's Isaiah Gash. Ryan Walters says he's the best corner he's ever been around. Here's Gash. He got hit hard out of bounds by Sidney Brown, but a 19 yard gain. Got to the season for Isaiah Gash. They are deep down the running back depth chart now. McCarthy. Incomplete, a little bit too far out in front of Ronnie Bell. Line up in the pistol. Illinois brought pressure up around the line of scrimmage, and they stuffed C.J. Stokes at the 40. They'll bring up third down and nine. McCarthy after the fake, trying to get around the corner, and he's tackled by Xavier Scott. There's movement along the line of scrimmage. McCarthy fires deep toward the end zone. It's incomplete. Looking for Andrell Anthony. I don't think they got a flag. They no, thought there's they no had a flag. Free play. McCarthy's saying, where's the flag? I thought I had a free play. Yeah, he threw that ball thinking he had a free play. Now it's Michigan, which has turned it over on downs, and Illinois with the ball tied at 10. They have a good field position. Their own 37, the play fake DeVito, and a catch. Second outstanding catch made by Casey Washington today. For the third time, they tried that play. That time, hit it, faking the wide receiver screen. 16 yard gain. Now the check down to Chase Brown. He's near another first down. Chase Brown. Good blocking again. Chase Brown on his way to the end zone. Touchdown, Illinois. For the most 100-yard games in his career, 16 of them now. 
including 11 of the last 12. And the only one that he didn't reach 100 was last week when he had 98 against Purdue. Watch the other tight end, Ryman, lead down the field. Kick out, lead through, and a lead blocker. And Chase Brown has freedom to the end zone. That's excellent execution on the gap scheme run. You're supposed to be You're the right. most outstanding college football player in the country. You're right. Touchback by Caleb Griffin. So we see you in Michigan, two of the four remaining undefeated teams. Still no Blake Corm, and now some boos from the crowd as C.J. Stokes takes the handoff for one yard. So it doesn't look like he's coming back, no. just the one carry in this half. McCarthy off the hands of Bell, and then off the body of the defender. Who was nearest? Seth Coleman. McCarthy won for his last six. Javier Dunlap, the running back. McCarthy takes off running. Nowhere near the first down marker at the 28. Tariq Barnes, nearest for Illinois. Isaiah Williams back for the punt. We're in the final half minute of the third quarter. And this crowd very quiet. Up into that wind, and it comes to a dead stop. He had uh, six touchdowns responsible for five rushing, one passing, 212 yards. Reggie Love covered a lot of ground. Ball out at the end, but the line judge immediately running in to say he was down. That is the end of the third quarter. Third quarter. All 32 yards of offense, only 140 in the first half. Devita a long throw, incomplete. Intended for Brian Hightower, DJ Turner had the coverage. Reggie Love, the running back, trouble with the snap. And on it is Devito back at the 33-yard line. After last season, but I think the line is better. They hit home runs in the transfer portal with a couple of starting guards. Ronnie Bell. Ronnie Bell across midfield. Big time return. I actually thought Ronnie Bell was signaling for a fair catch. Longest punt return of the season for Michigan. On target, caught. Colston Loveland first down. They got 12. Roman Wilson needs to make a play. He's capable. J.J. McCarthy pass batted in the air and it falls incomplete. Johnny Newton got a hand on it. McCarthy dumps it off and Isaiah Gash dropped for a loss. McCarthy takes off running. McCarthy inside the 25 and goes out of bounds, short of the first down. And it is good. Desperately needing a win with a path toward winning the Big Ten West and playing in the conference championship game. Chase Brown down after a six yard run. They've stuck to who they are. Brown again. <laughs> Illinois is definitely stuck with the run. Brown's rush for 128. First down, Brian Hightower crossed the 35 before he was sent back. Vito's been sharp, 17 out of 24. Brown again. Ozzie Smith made the tackle. Second and seven. Washington. Big cushion out there that time by Green. 15 catches all year coming in, six today for 53 yards, including a couple of tough catches. DeVito, they got. Couple of men open, and it's the tight end, Tip Ryman. Knocked out of bounds at the 36-yard line. 
All right, thank you. Here's DeVito going for the end zone, and it's a little too long for Hightower, who had a step on DJ Turner. Brown. Short game. Michigan, third down and eight. Chase Brown gets away for the moment and then got planted by Ron Moore. They're 0 for 1. DeVito pulls it down. DeVito tripped up short of the line to gain. DJ Turner, a big play in the open field. Great year coming over from Garden City Community College in Kansas. J.J. McCarthy with eight minutes to go. Has Colston Loveland chopped down in Illinois territory at the 42-yard line. McCarthy after the fake. In trouble and dropped at the 41-yard line. Devin Witherspoon again. And Blake Corum, who injured a knee late in the first half, had one carry here in the second half, but has shut it down since. Isaiah Gash stopped. Playing without their second running back, Donovan Edwards. And all of those things to be determined perhaps by the last six minutes plus here. McCarthy had difficulty, picked it up, found a receiver, first down. Cornelius Johnson, 11 yards on the play. Jim Harbaugh talked yesterday about how McCarthy is unflappable. Doesn't matter the Coach situation, timeout. doesn't matter if it's Illinois, home or road. Their first of the half. To be a full media timeout. The ball to have it down, so that was very tight. said he did not have firm possession of the ball. Lots of time for McCarthy. Short throw caught by Cornelius Johnson at the 24 yard line. Isaiah Gash, not much there. One yard, and that's it. Here comes a blitz, and McCarthy throws incomplete behind Johnson. The blitz threw off the coordination between the quarterback and receiver. And Ronnie Bell is on the sideline for some reason. And I believe it's another Illinois timeout. It is just before the snap. Charge timeout, Illinois. Their second of the half. This will be a full timeout. Roman Wilson in motion. Pressure on McCarthy. Man open. Wilson, the catch and the first down. Excellent hands catch. Even though Illinois wants to play man to man, when you put him in motion, his cover guy has to take a big loop to get in position to cover. And by that time, it's too late. It's an easy throw. Good decision to put Wilson in motion. CJ Stokes. At the 15 yard line, he's down in the arms of Isaac Darkangelo. Three and a half to go, down by four. Loveland was open and Gash dropped the ball. Who would have thought Isaiah Gash would be a focal point late in the game? Loveland open again, and this time they overthrow him. How is he open, though? I, I don't understand how this crossing tight end is not getting picked up. It looked like Sidney Brown was late in coverage, and he was open. We talked about the recent accuracy issues for McCarthy, 52% the last three games. He's open, and that wasn't even close. One more time and kick another to win it. Moody makes it a one-point game. He's good from 33. Be a touchback. Wow, magical season for the Horned Frogs. Chase Brown carries. And will Jim Harbaugh start using the timeouts now? He will. Interesting to see if Barry Lunny Jr. calls a pass on this play. Second down would be easier than third. 
Leaning on their star, Brown. Jim Harbaugh calls another timeout after another short game. Biggest play of the season for either team to date. DeVito. They tried to pressure up the middle. He's forced to run. Tommy DeVito down a yard short. There is a flag down in the offensive backfield. Holding offense number 72. 10 yard penalty from the previous spot. Third down. And Michigan has a great field goal kicker, the best in the country. Chase Brown carries. Jim Harbaugh will use the last timeout. Both gunners covered. They're trying to get Ronnie Bell the football with some room to run. And a big punt return last time. And they're playing without A.J. Henning, who's their primary punt returner. So it rolls dead at the 48. Out wide, Cornelius Johnson out of bounds. Tackled by Xavier Scott at the 49-yard line. Ten more yards should get them on the fringe of field goal range at the very least. McCarthy down at the 45-yard line, tackled by Tariq Barnes. Plenty of time, a minute 35 and running. Dunlap. Yeah, to your point, they're in a big hurry to line up. I mean, they have enough time. They're going to go for it on fourth down. But make sure you're ready to line up and run a good play. Watch for Loveland on a crossing round. This is the season in so many ways for these two. Gash the catch. First down. McCarthy. Plenty of time. Fires. And a flag thrown. Intended for Bell, who got an arm on it. And Witherspoon, the tremendous corner, is going to be called for pass interference. Yeah, I think Witherspoon pulled one of his arms. Pass interference, defense number 21. 15-yard penalty from the previous spot. Automatic first down. As Ronnie Bell comes out of the break, he's only able to get one arm on there. How will they play it here? They're in field goal range. McCarthy just wants to avoid the big mistake now. McCarthy. Waving Bell. McCarthy incomplete. And that was a more dangerous throw to me, Todd, than it really needed to be. Here's the blitz. McCarthy throws. Diving attempt. And it was caught by Johnson. And that's Hurry. big because the clock is now moving. Got to spike it. Got to spike the football now. Great job by McCarthy to get it off. And the diving catch by Johnson. I think they're going to wave it off and review it before the snap right there. The ruling on the field on the previous yep. play was a completed pass. That plays under further review. Now, if they rule it an incomplete pass, they'll probably put time back on the clock. The clock would have stopped. After review, the ruling on the field stands. Completed pass. Third down. They don't have a timeout. Well, they're going to throw it. And it is deflected by Seth Coleman. Wow. I mean, if that gets picked off on the interception. I'm not even sure what they were trying to accomplish with that. He was throwing it to Cornelius Johnson, who was covered on the sideline. With 12 seconds to go. It is good! The third straight loss. You try to run the kickoff back if there's a chance. There's no chance. Touchback. And she was thrown from a horse. It's always emotional when they play Michigan, especially here. And another very emotional day for the coach. Chase Brown tackled by Jalen Harrell. And it's over. There are some whistles, and Brett Bielema thinks they're going to get one more snap to launch a Hail Mary. Charge timeout, Illinois. The third and final timeout of the game. Please put one second on the game clock. One wow. second. Here it is with the game clock on the picture. On the ground with one second. Michigan's going to rush only three. Defenders spread out all over. DeVito does throw it high in the air. It's going to come down near the 20. Incomplete. 
And now it is over. Michigan goes to 11-0.